Dear sisters and brothers in Christ, Jesus is a lousy economist. He, he's got this, this stupid system where he pays, or at least in his story, he pays workers who have worked for 12 hours and those who have worked for an hour the same wage. Today, he preaches a little stewardship sermon and he says, give everything that you have to God. Don't withhold anything. Well, it mirrors the story we heard of Elijah and the widow who gave essentially everything that she had trusting that God would provide. Is that truly how God expects us to live in the world? To give everything, all our treasure, all our time, all of our talent to the church or to God? Does God want us to give everything away and rely kind of passively on that notion that God will provide? I, for one, am hesitant to go down that road. I like knowing that there's going to be food on my table and lights when I flip a switch and that it's not dependent on God to somehow make that happen. I work, Kathy works to earn a paycheck so that we can first give to God. Our tithe comes first. But it's a tithe. It's a tenth of what we earn. It's not a hundred percent. We could build that pipe organ that somebody was talking about this morning if we gave 100% of our worth to grace. It's not going to happen. But it is important. It's important to us. And I hope it's important to all of us that our first fruits be given to God. Maybe it's not a tenth. Kathy and I grew toward a tithe. But the point is that you dedicate your first fruits, your time, your talent, your treasure, your first fruits to God. I can almost guarantee that you can live on 90% of your income. But again, let's not make the tithe some kind of rule. It might be kind of a goal. But what I'd really like to encourage you to do, we're approaching stewardship time. I can't remember if it's next Sunday. No, I think it's two Sundays from now, you'll be getting a letter in the mail from the church council in, in the next uh, week or so asking you to make your pledge for 2019 and also, and, and at least as importantly, to fill out that form that says that you'll give of your time and your talent to the life and the ministry 
of the church. That's coming. But what I want to emphasize today is that stewardship, our care of those things that God has entrusted to us, stewardship is a lifestyle. It's not a once a year I fill out a form and then I get a box of envelopes and I'm faithful. Stewardship, like Christianity itself, is a lifestyle. It's a way of being in the world that values the gifts that God has surrounded us with, that values the people that God has put us in community with, and that values the opportunities that God gives us to serve people in need at home and abroad. Christianity, stewardship, is a way of living in the world that trusts in God, that trusts in that idea that God will provide for us. Not, not with us in that kind of passive role, just hoping that something's going to happen, but, our, but with us using the gifts that God has given us, each one of us with a different set, a unique set of gifts, using those gifts both within the church and in the world to make a difference to do God's work out in the world and here in church. The point of Jesus' teaching about that woman who gave everything away was to focus on what she was doing She was symbolically giving her whole life to God. What can we, what would we, why would we withhold anything when everything is lent to us, entrusted to us, given to us to be stewards of what is not ours, but what is God's. Remember what God has given you, your life, your salvation, the promise that God will always be with you in life and in death. And what does God ask? God asks that we let our lives be used to do God's work in the world. In Jesus' name, amen.